global risks, the domestic risks. Um, now the question begs, um, are we just looking at risks? Are there opportunities? And then we'll share our outlook for 2017. How do we expect uh, the economy, the Kenyan economy, to perform in 2017 um, in light of all this? So the key, um, one of the key positives about the Kenyan economy is the fact that in the past um, about 10 years, we've seen all the heavy investments in infrastructure. We've seen the expansion of uh, Mombasa ports. We've seen all the new roads uh, that the government has in, uh, uh, invested in, uh, the expansion of existing roads, and also uh, repair of current roads. We've also seen um, the expansion of uh, JKIA, also the expansion of uh, uh, Kisumu Airport. And again, uh, we've seen all the Kenyans who've been um, connected to uh, electricity. And also, I mean, the main project really being uh, the standard gate um, all this uh, investment actually uh, improving uh, business efficiency and reducing cost of doing uh, business in Kenya. What this is doing uh, is that for the existing businesses, they are scaling, and for foreign investors, they are seeing opportunity and they are coming uh, to invest in, in, in the country. Also, another positive uh, we're seeing is um, devolution, uh, which was a, as a result of uh, the new constitution. Uh, what exactly devolution has done is that uh, uh, it has devolved resources to counties and the biggest plus really for devolution is the fact that now we're seeing development being evenly distributed uh, within the country. Also one of the key positives about the Kenyan economy is the fact that the Kenyan economy is very resilient and the key reason as to why the Kenyan economy is very resilient is the fact that uh, as an economy we're very diversified. If you look at uh, the sectoral contribution to our GDP, you can see that we don't over rely in any one sector. As much as agriculture is about um, 25 to 30%, then you'd find that uh, all the other sectors um, are actually below 10%. Uh, Their contribution to the Kenyan GDP is below 10%. So only manufacturing that is at 10.3%. This is very positive. Um, reason being, like for instance, if there is one sector that is adversely affected, you'd find that the positives from the uh, from the other sectors sort of uh, negate that um, uh, negative effects from that one sector that has been adversely affected. And if you look at sorry, and if you look at our exports as well, you look at um, our export destinations. Our export destinations. You can see as well we we very uh, diversified, um, whereby um, we um, export 21.1 uh, uh, sorry 21 21.7 percent of our exports go to the EU. Then you have about 21.7 um, percent going to America, and about 22.5 percent going to Asia. This as well um, helps the economy in the event that uh, there's one market that is slowing you'd find that uh, the other markets um, uh, sort of negate that effect uh, from the slowing market. And interestingly, if you look at um, our exports, our makeup of uh, our exports as well, you can see the commodities are pretty diversified as well, uh, whereby tea controls about 25% of our exports. Uh, you've got old culture controlling about 22.2%, uh, and all the other commodities, uh, their contribution is actually below 10%. If I was to compare this, for instance, with Nigeria, uh, when you look at Nigeria's exports, about 95% of their exports are actually controlled by oil. And that's the reason as to why uh, last year, Nigeria actually plans to a recession because of the fact that um, oil prices collapsed, did decline uh, drastically. So this helps us as well, uh, whereby we don't over rely in any one commodity. Um, now we've come to uh, the final bit of our presentation. Uh, what's our outlook for 2017? Um, in 2017, we expect the economy, the Kenyan economy, to continually be driven by government spending, uh, to be supported by the resilience of transport and trade, and also to be supported by the recovery of uh, tourism. Uh, the key risks that we see in 2017 
Of course, my colleagues uh, talked about them. Uh, firstly, is the unfavorable weather, and also the slowdown of private sector uh, credit growth. And when we look at um, the uh, contribution to um, GDP, uh, especially um, for 2017, when you look at uh, the four contributors to GDP, that's consumption, investment, uh, government spending, and um, net exports, uh, we expect consumption to be under downward pressure in 2017. Uh, this is because of, firstly, the fact that uh, um, credit, the private sector, slowed. And also, uh, the other effect is because of uh, inflation. We expect inflation to inch up um, in 2017. And of course, you know, inflation eats up to disposable income. So we expect uh, consumption to be under downward pressure in um, 2017. Um, when you look at uh, investments, um, as well, we, inf we expect investments to be affected by the fact that credit to the private sector slowed. And also the fact that um, this is an election year. Uh, we know, um, as previously um, presented, uh, businesses and investors adopt um, a wait and see approach uh, whenever there's elections because of all the uncertainty that surrounds elections. So we expect investments really uh, to be flat uh, in 2017. The key factor that will propel the economy in 2017 uh, will remain uh, to be government expenditure. Uh, we've got all the projects that the government is, is uh, undertaking as regards to uh, infrastructure. We expect some more to be uh, actually co commissioned in 2017 and, and some of the projects to be completed in 2017. We expect this to really be the main driver as pertains to GDP growth uh, in 2017. On net exports, um, because we, net exports is basically um, exports minus imports, uh, because we expect oil uh, prices to trend upwards, we expect our net uh, exports to be under uh, downward pressure in, in 2017. All this sums up to our expectation about GDP growth in 2017. We expect the Kenyan economy to grow at a rate of between 5 to 5.6 uh, percent in 2017, and like as uh, at earlier um, highlighted, we expect this to, to be predominantly uh, driven by government expenditure, uh, the resilience of transport and trade, and also the recovery of tourism. Um, the common wananchi might not fail this, because the common wananchi uh, relates to consumption. So when consumption slows, uh, the common wananchi may be asking hard questions, all these good uh, growth that you're talking about. I can't feel it. Uh, that uh, leaves me um, with this uh, quote, uh, which says, the welfare of a nation can scarcely be inferred uh, from a measurement of national income as defined by the GDP. Uh, that marks the end of our presentation. We'd be more than happy to take questions.